you want to level up your Photoshop skills and learn the essentials, stay tuned because that's what we're doing today. I'm also going to be giving you a bunch of free resources for you to be able to work alongside us. Click on the link down in the description. You will get this file. Go ahead and select the little dots on this file and hit download. That will allow you to download this file. And once you're there, go ahead and just click on that file and it will open up in Photoshop. All right, so I wanna make sure everything's scaled correctly. So there are two things that you need to do in Photoshop. You need to go to Window and then do Workspace and do Essentials Defaults, right? That'll be just the default. So click on Essentials. That'll make sure that your workspace looks the same as mine. The next thing that I want you to do is hover right over here in the bottom left. You can click and hold and make sure you have the hand tool, right? And what I want you to do is just double click on the hand tool. And that will size up this composition so that we can look at everything. Photoshop is a pixel based program. And what that means is when we zoom in here, everything is made of tiny little squares. And you can see even on these letters that everything is a tiny square. When you're doing details and when you're changing and augmenting things, you are augmenting the actual pixels. You're moving the boxes around as you work in Photoshop. At this size, it might be fine. If you try to blow something up to a really large size, it's just gonna show these pixels, right? So when you're working in a certain size, you wanna make sure that you're working in the correct size or you want to maybe explore a vector-based program like Adobe Illustrator if you're working at very large sizes. Double click on that hand tool again. And right there, we have our interface. This white space that is in the center, this is called our artboard. And an artboard is just the area that you'll be working. It's the window to everything that you will create. Artboard. Over on the left are our tools. This is our tool bag, our toolbar, everything that we need to create an awesome composition. And you can kind of click through these. And I'm gonna show you the basics of Photoshop, but here's what I want you to do. Here's what your homework is. Click on every single thing. Click on all the things, experiment. There is no wrong way to do design, only different ways. So over here we have a bunch of tools and the tools that I do wanna point out are the move tool right up here. The hot key for that is V. I also wanna point out the magic wand tool. We'll be using that a little bit today. And then I want to point out the type tool. We'll be looking at that today as well. So those are three that you need to pay attention to during this time. All right, so those are all your tools. Go explore them on your own time. Right below that are the fill and stroke. So if you're working with a shape, this is going to be your fill and stroke. The fill is the color inside, the stroke is the color around. Also, if we're working with a brush, this is going to be the color that we are brushing with. If you want to change these, you can use the hotkeys X, to switch them back and forth, or D to reset them to black and white. So X switches them or D resets them to black and white. All right, swinging around here past me over onto the side is the layers panel. This is probably the most important panel in Photoshop. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag this up so that we can see a little bit more here. The layers panel is going to be uh, where we are working on pretty much everything here in Photoshop. Everything is separate and using the layers panel, you can turn things on or off depending on what you wanna see. So let's say that we don't need to know that this is layers anymore. We can click and it will turn off that layer, right? Make it invisible. When we export anything that we do, it's basically deleting that layer, but putting it in kind of a holding zone. You can also turn off multiple layers by clicking and dragging over that little eye. As you start painting and building, you'll wanna be working on different layers for everything just so you have more control. The way to make a new layer is just to click on this little plus button down in the corner. That will make a new layer for you and you'll see that these little check marks are see-through. So anything that has those check marks is see-through. We're gonna grab the brush tool and I'm just gonna show you real quick right over here or you can hit B. And we're just going to click and drag and you can see, boom, we've painted on Photoshop. Uh, if you wanna change the hardness of the brush, which is the amount of kind of wispiness of that brush, you can right click and then just slide this hardness down and it's gonna make it so that it's very wispy now so you can draw with it. So if you're doing digital painting, using this brush is very helpful, uh, especially as you start to build things up. And you can see it is on its own layer, so we can turn that off and that layer just simply disappears and goes away. Next, we have our color panel. And you can see we have our stroke and fill up here as well, but we also can pick some colors. We have swatches, we have gradients, we have patterns. 
all kinds of great resources for us to play around with here. I'm gonna go to swatches and I'm gonna click on this red. This is a really nice red and I'm gonna make a new layer and to name that layer, I'm just going to double click and name this layer. Draw. So I'm gonna click and drag and you can see that it's in black. Why is it painting in black? Because our stroke or our background color is red. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and undo that hitting control Z is the hotkey. And we are going to switch these. Again, we can use these little arrows right here or we can hit X to switch them back and forth. Whatever is on top is what we're gonna paint with. So we're gonna paint with red, looks pretty good. And then we're gonna do one more layer here and we're gonna paint in with a blue. So we're gonna paint in with blue right there. And you can see now that we have these two colors that are overlapping. Now they are on different layers, so you can see, and it looks very gradual, right? It looks very soft, but as I zoom in here, you can see that it really is just a bunch of pixels. That's actually a really good gradient. I like that gradient a lot. Uh, so we'll zoom out here a little aggressively, and you can change the way that layers interact with each other by changing something called the blending mode. And it's right above your layers panel. We're gonna change this to multiply. And it will give you a live preview of what these layers are going to do as you scroll through here. They're basically going to augment each other. As you look, it's taking what is on top and interacting with what's on the bottom. So this blue is on top and the red is on the bottom. So as we scroll through here, you can see the interactions. And I really like the interaction of hard light. It looks a little bit neon, a little bit see-through. So you can play around with those two colors. Have a fantastic day. Bye.